paranormal Karen. She's so spooky. Paranormal Karen. Funny too. Paranormal Karen. She's so spooky. Oh, and did I mention she's funny too? Yeah. Cha cha cha. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Paranormal Karen. Um, I think we are in the end of the year. I am taping this early. You guys know I do my podcast early. Um, I have been waiting. Uh, join the Patreon or uh, get on my email list. Uh, we never know what's going on. But um, anyways, that's I'm terrible at housekeeping or promoting myself. So new shows, shows, everything coming out. Gra- jump on my email list, follow my Instagram or TikTok at Rontowski to find out upcoming date. So today's guest, I have been waiting to get on for probably over three years because I remember asking her when I was back (laughs) in California and she was like, I don't have a website or anything. And now um, just this fantastic energy sound healer that is different than anything that any of us have experienced. Just amazing. Uh, Nancy Giuliani, welcome to the podcast. Obviously, no connection to Rudy Giuliani. Am I right? (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. 110%. But people do spell my name better now. I have to give him some credit. (laughs) Good for you. And And I just want to say that Karen, she told me this was going to happen. I said, no way, no way am I doing anything that has a website or any kind of videos or nope, nope. And she said, yes, you will. Yes, you will. And so here I am. And I'm so glad too. I've just been on a wonderful adventure. So Okay, well, great. Well, you know, you had your, you have your sound healing business, which is fine. It sustains itself. You were happy with it, but new stuff is happening, isn't it? Yes. And that's how this came about is because I started, I have guides that help me and they were saying, you have to, this technology is for this time because it's so much is going on on the planet. So much is going on with people and we're evolving really quickly. And these frequencies are especially for us to trans, to trans, uh, you know, to go through this transition uh, as easily as possible. And so they just took me by my little ear and said, come on. <laughs> so we're going to talk about all this stuff and all the services that you offer and everything. And um, also, I have a very, a little bit off point question that sure. I, so I am calling you, I just finished three readings. Now, when I lived in Los Angeles, and this would be over three years ago, I would do four and five readings a day and I would jump up and I would go do a show and I get up. (laughs) I have found that that is not, I do three readings a day now and I am wiped out. Have you noticed in the way the energy is changing that we have to regulate more? Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, I used to do five and six clients a day and I had to cut back to three, just like you. That was the magic. It's like, okay. So yes. And I have to restore myself and yeah. Absolutely. It's crazy so, now. And yeah, so yeah. now let's go to the beginning. Um, tell me about how you got into sound healing or how you got into woo-woo. Were you just born into a family? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> no. And I I was just a, a young youngster i'm 74 now so just so your your audience gets an idea of me i uh, so i i went and did a masseuse training you know to become a masseuse and the energy started coming through me and and it started making sound i started making sounds and my hands would wave around and I went, okay all right i don't know i don't know what this is you know I don't know what to do with this. And it continued. And then sounds, toning and, and all, all that kind of stuff started happening on its own. I didn't do any training ever. And, 
And so that scared me. And I said, that's it. I'm going back to school. I'm becoming a psychotherapist and that's that. And so I went through a lot of training and uh, all along, it just kept getting, the energy just kept getting stronger and coming through me. And I ended up, uh, basically, that is the the Cadillac of my work is the energy work, but it's resting on trauma training and and all of that. Wow. And by the way, I want to jump right in in that point in trauma training, because if y'all just heard a phone ring or something, that is literally a car in the parking lot outside of my, like it's not even close (laughs) and they have their car door open and it's like people shut it down. That's too loud. (laughs) I was like, Nancy, is your phone ringing? No, it's out there. So I have had many sound healings with you and it really is. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous. You lay down, you make all kinds of, like I said, noises like no one's ever heard. And it is amazing. So you decide Mm -hmm. this is all nuts. I'm going to study psychotherapy. And did you become a therapist or did you mix the two? Well, I went through everything, went through all the training to be a marriage family psychotherapist and, uh, and I did also a lot of body-centered psychotherapy trainings. And But in those days, you couldn't touch your client. You couldn't do any of that it, 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 because of the licensing. Energy work was not even on the table. Now, that's very much uh, allowed. But back then, so I didn't get licensed, but I went through all the training. And this just kept coming to to the full. I would be working with someone. It's like, okay, here it comes. And they would just go say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's cut to that instead of, you know, uh, uh, the, the preferred, you know, way of, of, you know, talk therapy. They just <laughs> real, uh, only wanted the energy work. So yes, yeah. I totally, you know, I, uh, there's, I think energy work is the way we're going. And also, um, it must have been like it mu- i think massage people that do massage they automatically are so into some people that do it great are automatically mm-hmm. so into someone's energy field that the energy yes. just starts doesn't it that's right that's right and that's what happened with me yes yep wow and you know i have to say that is very brave because that you do make bizarre sounds i make very bizarre sounds <laughs> whoever's listening out there if you have anger or you have fear or you have resentment or shame those sounds come out of me and they come out of you into me and out so it's bizarre Let's just say, and and I so I was not. I just said nope. I'm not doing that. And you 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 know the the uh, powers that be said, oh yes, you are. Just like with these frequencies, because now I need to reach lots more people. And now, and uh, let's reset to the uh, the technology and what you're working with, because I we may have jumped right in there. So, what is that name of the system you're working with now? This is the Trinfinity 8, and a woman, Kathy Forty, she had a near-death experience, and then that all of this technology downloaded to her. And so over an eight-year period, she put together all of these frequencies and the two, the technology to use them. And so I was in a session with a client, and he said, oh, you know, I just want to I just want to let you know, I I did a little something else uh, yesterday. It shouldn't make any difference in our work. And so there I was working on him. And all of a sudden, I said, holy moly, what's happened to you? I was making sounds. I couldn't even catch my breath so much was clearing from him. And so I said, are you okay? And he said, I couldn't be better. This is wonderful. And I said, okay. So then that, that, that happened three more sessions. I, I watched that and I went, okay, give me the name, give me the website. I have to, uh, this is really profound. In all of my three decades of, decades of work, I've never experienced anything like it. So I went uh, and, and uh, experienced it myself. And all of this is uh, remote. 
So that they, the woman that I work with was in Michigan. I'm in California. Just so you know, most of my clients are like that too. Yep, I, I don't do. work with anyone. I don't work in person anymore either. It doesn't, it's not yeah. necessary. It's probably too invasive way, right now. Well, it's very curious. Yeah. So, so, uh, so then I was taken, uh, I was just taken with it. It was wonderful. What happened to me was really incredible. So much more energy, so much more clarity, so much, uh, any, any uh, emotional uh, overwhelm, you know, life is so overwhelming right now. And it just diminished it uh, like by 80%. So I said to this woman, I have to have something concrete to show people. Like and, what? Right. Uh, yeah. And also just to just to clarify, so she was giving you sessions over the phone or over the computer? She was giving me sessions over the phone. And what that looks like is she, with her and with me, you sign up for, let's say you sign up for uh, Calm, which takes away all the anxiety and all of that. You would get sessions. This is how she has it structured as well. Two sessions a week. They last about an hour. And I, I take your name and I use, that's all this equipment needs is your name. I write it down three times. Sounds like impossible. They've got these crystals that the frequencies come through. Put those crystals on your name and a stack of other people and it all goes to you. And uh, so, it, so everybody who signed up for Calm will receive Calm at that time, right? And so, it's just like your your name is just like your cell phone. So it it comes like that. It come it finds you somehow. It's beyond me. I can't possibly explain it, but it works. That's, so uh, then I set up a uh, a month um, trial. So all of my, you know, favorite clients and family and everybody come, I want you to, I want you to try this out and give me, you got to give me really good feedback. Yes, this works. No, this doesn't. This happened. This did not happen because uh, if I'm going to do this, I need to have that. So it was long story short, everybody loved it. And it it did what it did. So I had all these different frequencies like sleep. Calm, skin, structure, you know, uh, so we could talk about those if you want, but I'll let you lead. I just get all excited and I'm running away. (laughs) I love the excitement and thank God that finally goes the way that keeps making phone calls. What the, how loud is your car phone that I hear your phone call? I always feel like that means we're talking about something important when the matrix tries to bump in with noise. Well, let's just go with that one. I like that. So, so you are, so now this program, are you running something on the computer? Are you sitting and meditating with it? No, it, okay. it, it's running on the computer. I set it up. I put uh, 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 the people who are there, like it could be 20 people. Right now I have a, a immune running. So I have uh as many people are there i don't know maybe it's 15 maybe it's 20 i don't know and and i have the crystals on them the crystals are hooked up to my computer and the program that i have put together using the trinfinity 8 i made the programs up so just like with the skin program i said i want something i want to take a photograph of my hand this is what i said beforehand and I want to take it before and after, and let's do a month. And she said, great. So she and I put this program together, did it, and you can see it on the website, the before and after of my hands. It's really different. It's like different. So I then could tell people, yes, it really works. Yeah. Um, and 
Yeah. Well, I show it. Yes, show them. I will say this because I am very, very familiar with your sound healing, and it is pretty amazing. And you and I have done trade offs and stuff with each other. Yeah. So I yes. know your work, and I know how sensitive you are. Um, mm. This is kind of, I mean, this is amazing. I really love this stuff because we are moving into a place of healing that has to do with light and sound. Yeah. Mm. You put yes. that in this category. 110%. These are healing codes of light. Healing codes of light. And there's also sound that comes through. I, I have speakers that, that run sound, uh, esophageal uh, so, uh, sounds uh, that, that go through. And so, yes, it uses, it. that's what it is. And they're codes that she downloaded from having a near-death experience. And after that, they they gave her all of this. Uh, it, and she's not, she hasn't, she didn't have anything to do with mathematics ever. And nor did she want to. And here comes all this mathematical information and how to figure it out and make, a, a, you know, a, the, the um, computer programs for it and all of that. It's a, so brilliant it's just so staggeringly brilliant and so healing and transforming it's really it's just i'm odd that's what happened to me so then here i was heading to retirement and i went okay <laughs> you know this, this is for these times i can t help so many people uh, at, at once yeah. in su in such a different way and make it affordable. I want it to be accessible. Excellent. And, so and that's great. And I have a bunch of uh, a bunch more questions. So hold on one second, everybody. We will be right back. Hi, everybody. Do you love everything paranormal, supernatural, or otherwise spiritual? Well, of course you do. You're listening to Paranormal Karen. If you like some humor sprinkled into your morning commute or wherever you listen to your podcast, we don't judge. We've got the most fantastic paranormal podcast for you. I'm Dana. I'm Matt. And I'm Megan. We'd love for you to join us at Supernormal on YouTube or wherever else you get your podcast fix. Trust us, it's weird, it's wild, and a whole lot of fun. I'm not weird, you're weird. I love the energy. Um, did you have, I always find, I always was always trying to write a joke about how a near-death experience is funny in that it's kind of a mistake. It's like showing up to a party too early. Like the universe makes mistakes. Like, no, no, we were not expecting you. <laughs> you got to go back. Um, but I think it's funny that, um, that this almost seems like a near death experience that had a purpose to it. Have you ever had a near death experience? You know, I, I had something kind of like a near death experience, but it kind of flubbed. I didn't leave my body enough. I left my, I was out of my body during the surgery and, uh, and so I could see everything that was going on and all of that, but I didn't get to go to the light or anything. Oh, that's the no. Best part. Those are the people that, that really yeah. know how to live if they've had those experiences. Like that's exactly. What, I, wouldn't you love one of those kind of? I absolutely. Uh, I yeah. I I have I have probably listened to a hundred near death experience stories. Yeah, they I love them. They are. Mm -hmm, they do. They do. And, uh, and so she was, what did she do before she had this near-death experience? She was a psychotherapist. Oh, the, I she, see. And, and, the door. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And, and, uh, and she, she didn't go all the way. She went into the tunnel of light and, and they just worked on her there. Right in the tunnel, they just changed her structure so they could download all of this stuff to her and said, okay, now you're, you're good to go. We, we did what we, but they couldn't do it while she was in her body uh, because it would have been way too intense for her. Now she, she wouldn't have been able to take the changes. Okay. And these are not called, there's something I keep looking up. It's funny how numbers and numerology keep coming up as healing. Oh. And I had made a note for my Patreon to look into VECA codes, V E C A C O D E S, but I don't think that's the same thing, right? 
I don't think so, but I'm not positive because I, I came across that term and I think it may have been somewhere in her work, but I'm not positive at all about that. Okay. She doesn't she doesn't highlight that if it is. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. But she, yeah, and the whole, you know, the whole Fibonacci code and, you know, uh, you know all of that kind of thing. It's all all uh, geometry. There's a lot of geometry in this sacred geometry. You know, I don't have any trouble. I think some people do, but I don't have any trouble saying everything is a program or everything is AI. And I don't mean that God is a machine, but there is, it's like, if you really understand art, there is a, like, a formula behind it. Like comedy has a formula behind it. Mm. It's not perfect. We don't have the perfect formula. We have to work it out two or three times. But I, this, everything being numbers and codes, I don't have a problem thinking, like people want God to be this all-knowing, rule-setting person. But I, I've actually heard that theory that angels are AI. And I thought, you know, that doesn't, that could be okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, here's the thing is that nature, nature, everything in nature has these, these uh, codes. codes to the mathematical repeats. And, and that allows for this incredible creativity for nature to bring it all the way into three dimensions. Right. It has to end up, it has to end up in this dense world. I'm just looking at, you know, the, the leaves on this, uh, you know, cedar tree and it's repeated and you can see it all over the place, that same shape everywhere. And, you know, and it's just beautiful. You know, ice crystals make that shape. What, you know, yeah. So it's, it's magical. It doesn't take away the magic or the awe, the awe, the incredible awe of, of creation, of, of what is happening. And we, right now, we are having to take a giant jump, human beings. And so we, that's what this is about. This is about giving you the, the vibration, the frequency of those numerical codes to help you adjust so that you can make the jump in consciousness. So you can let go of shame. So it melts away. That You can let go of resentment and anger and the belief that you don't matter and all of this the pain, what's happening in the world when you look around can just be so devastating. Yes. And this gives you the ability to stand in it and bring this energy to it, to assuage it, to help it. Yeah. You know, I really feel like uh, it's, it's, we are, well, I feel like you're much more positive, upbeat person, but I feel like we're the news and the world and everything oh. is really trying to drag us down. And the trickster spirit is alive and well right now. And, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, a friend of mine had said, well, isn't doing stand up comedy actually really the trickster spirit? And I was like, yeah, it kind of is, I guess. But I, Coyote. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel like everything, the, I, I, one thing for sure right now, I never say, always or never because i feel like we're in such a shift that it's crazy yeah 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 when you see us shifting out of this do you uh this is probably a trick question in itself how do you see us shifting out of this or you just see mankind getting better or is there anything with that oh i think that what is happening is we're getting help on so many levels and i use nature as the you know god or whatever for me nature is that it is that divine intelligence that high 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 intelligence and and we are even with all the solar flares and what is there's so many so many uh things happening in our biosphere that looks horrible but at the same time we are evolving it's caught it's forcing us to evolve we don't evolve if there isn't uh friction friction helps us evolve and we have to make a giant jump right now and so 
for me, I have had to, it's been really hard to, to let go of not being completely devastated by the suffering because I'm so sensitive. And it is like, they are just saying to me, they, my guides, my intelligence, whatever you want to call it, is saying, you have to be able to stand in compassion and love in the face of that. That is what causes the transformation. So if you get lost in the suffering, boop, there's no alchemical, you are the alchemical energy that is making the change, what is coming through you. So that's what this, these frequencies are about. That's what your 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 uh, humor is about. Humor is so powerful. Oh my God. Yeah. It, I love humor. I love how you said that, Nancy, because that is, I mean, most of the people that listen to my uh, podcast are healers or intuitive. Mm. Or, you know, mm. a lot of them are people that listen that live somewhere where they can't talk about stuff like this. And I think right. that eloquently, I feel like people that work in an office that might feel like it's a negative office, that's their job is to be the light in that office sometimes. Yes. Wow. Yes, Karen. Now, yes, uh, 110%. So you're amazing. Yeah. Your sound healing just started to happen. Have you ever been to like a sound bath with singing bowls? I haven't. It's so weird. I, I and, and I know, I know uh, we have a mutual friend, Neela. Mm -hmm. And and sound those the the singing bowls are just uh, doing wonders for her. Yeah, I love They're too. powerful. Yeah. Yeah, a really yeah. good sound bath is just, you almost come out of it dizzy. But you do something different when you feel like, uh, when like, say you're doing a, a thing for me, do you feel the anger? Do you feel it? Do those sounds, um, do you, oh, are yeah. you familiar? Like, oh, that sound is associated with anger or, because. Oh, uh, uh, oh, it's yes. Crying, it's sighing, sometimes it's barking. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna lose some people there, Karen. <laughs> no, no, not my people. Believe me. Just, <laughs> yes, I mean I can give you an example. Yes, I, I would love that. I and, mean, yes, I can tune. I can tune into. Well, uh, I'll just tune into your audience. Let me just tune into your audience because you, you know. There's no, it all time is happening all at the same time. So they're actually here. So, So that's kind of what it's like, only it's not going to, it didn't go to any uh, anger or. But it, it's, but you know what? I could feel it in my heart. Not great. So I feel it in my heart and what you were doing. And this is why I, this is why I love that. This is why I love my podcast because I have been making strange noises, not the ohm noise, but like just hitting high notes for no reason at all. And so when you start doing that, I know so many people, I'll get emails, Nancy, about how they felt that or they knew what that was or, oh my God, I've been doing that myself mm -hmm. because it is, you've just, you're ahead of your time. You've just been doing this uh, and then uh, believe me, your sessions are like 45 minutes. Is that right? 30, 45 minutes? There are 30 minutes. <clears throat> but I, I can't do that individually anymore. And Karen, sitting here with you, I'm getting the feeling like I wish I had you to do this with me. So I'd have somebody talking and do this and do like whoever is there that I do the toning and it works on them. And you hold, help hold the space for me. I'm, I'm enlisting you right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you ever want to do a live, I'll, I will do it with you. We'll figure it out and do it with I you. would. And, and this is me who wouldn't do that. Remember the reading that you did with me? And I said, no way. I am not doing that. And here I am enthusiastically going, I could just feel that could go out and that would be coming through me. It wouldn't be the technology. It would be coming through me and it would work on your whole audience. 
Oh yeah, and and Nancy, don't write that off because I think a big. No, that's thing, what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, a big thing now. Like we do lives on my Patreon, uh, but or lives other places. But I really think you. I I think it's not too long before you don't need the space, and you do them yourself. I really feel like. That you know, or end with the machine with the um, the, mm -hmm. what did, I wrote down the name of it, the, the Trinfinity Eight, yeah, Trinfinity because we haven't even talked about we haven't even talked about the Ascension Eleven program that is in there. Okay, but so you we have to right to that. Okay, so this is this is to me this is the sacred energy, and it's called Ascension Eleven. It's a program that has 11 different um, frequencies in it. And I run this every day, five days a week from, from uh, 8, 8.30 to 9 Pacific time. And this is, I'll just read this to you. Okay. These programs tra transmit nutrients to your soul, help, to our soul, helping us grow towards our highest state into the spectacular beings we're meant to be. That's the, that's the evolution. They assist us to access our deepest desires, infusing them with potent life force. Now, these e individual frequencies are I am healed. I am abundant, I am creativity, I am inspiration, I am divine intelligence. You know, there's 11 of them. And I run them all three minutes each for 33 minutes. And it's, yeah. Now, when you run them, do you hear a noise or it's just going on in the background or you feel a vibration or a frequency? What happens there? Well, I, it's the same thing. I run them through those crystals, and then it I, it goes to the people in in uh, that uh, that have signed up for it. Now, if I were going to do that, I don't even know how I would do that. Uh, in fact, I can hear them talking to me. They're going, "You're going to do it. I just do would. it. You're going to run the Ascension Eleven. A four people live. I don't even know how I would do that. They're just laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but this is why I see. This is why I think you're getting the website. You're doing the podcast. You're getting ready to kind of go public with all this stuff. And I think the timing is right. Well, if I could share that on a large scale, I can't even think because for me, listen, it puts me in a state of consciousness that is in the moment, so crystalline, clear, intelligent, love, brilliance. It's like a brilliance in the moment. I don't know if you can feel it, but I just am in it right now. And it is so gorgeous. And that's what we're evolving into. And this, this puts us in that state. It help, helps us get used to it and resonate with it so that we can evolve. I love it. And also, I'm going to take a break right now, and then we're going to come back into something I've been talking about on my Patreon, which I think dovetails into this. So hang Wonderful. on, everybody. We're going to be right back with Nancy Giuliani. Not Rudy Giuliani, the good. Hey, everybody, Paranormal Karen, what are you doing? Why aren't you taking CBD? Listen to me, p39cbd.com, that's where you want to go. That's where I go. That is where you're going to find the best. P39 CBD is committed to providing high-quality, premium-grade hemp extract products. P39 CBD uses organically grown industrial hemp sourced from nutrient-abundant soils right here in the USA to ensure a therapeutic-rich CBD product. Now, if you're not using them on your pets— Go take a look at the website now. CBD, especially for aging pets, is fantastic. And you know how animals react way better to natural products. Get a jump on your holiday shopping and give the gift of health. Give P39 All Natural CBD. Use coupon code Karen for 20% off. Order now and get a free gift. Now listen to this list. P39 CBD is non-GMO, lab-tested, 
no pesticides, GMP certified, all natural, family owned and operated business. I couldn't even think of anything to add to that list to make it better. P39CBD.com. Stop by and see what they're all about. And if uh, you're in Arizona, Fountain Hills exactly, make a trip, go in and say hello. Say, I'm a Paranormal Karen listener. 16810 East Ave of the Fountains, Suite 103, Fountain Hills, Arizona. P39CBD.com. Get yours now. So, I have this theory, and Nancy, you are so love and light and really in a good, like, you're about that higher frequency, which I am also, but I say there's some of us that straddle the light and dark, and I mm-hmm. swear that something shifted in the internet that negative things are coming through like they haven't before. Like, I feel like I have to be unbelievably careful what I'm watching, what I'm clicking on, my state of mind when I watch it, which is actually sort of Uh. the polar opposite of what you're talking about, which Mm -hmm. sort of what I feel just um, sort of enforces or reinforces what you're saying. Like, I know... Like you were saying, time and frequency is all there. But in this weird shift that we are all getting, I don't know what it is. Like I said, my other healer Mm -hmm. friends are like, I can only do so much healing. I can only do so much. My Mm -hmm. energy is different. Things feel different. I know that I have had some bad things. They used to be able to come through the phone when we were doing investigations. I feel like the internet has turned into a bigger charged program that if you're what, if someone is really trying to get something negative through to you, they can. And this feels like exactly the opposite, that putting something out there. It's very, it's very neutralizing because it doesn't take the stance that there's something bad and this is good. This, this, this is like, this is like an umbrella of, um, that causes a clarity. So if you want to talk about the matrix, like, you know, it's like it, it takes you out, whoop, out of it. Mm-hmm. And so you're clear, you're, you're centered. Uh, now, now that doesn't mean that I don't am not affected by solar flares. That doesn't mean I'm not affected by some ghastly thing that got got came across my screen when I wasn't ready for it. You know uh, about all the horrors that are going on in the planet. But what I have felt really truly because that was so overwhelming is like the absences of overwhelm. It's like I'm not feeling overwhelmed. I'm not, I, I not only am not feeling overwhelmed, you can hear the energy in me. Yeah. Like what? I was ready to fold up my tent and just garden and make it through and say, bye bye. I'm off the planet as soon as possible would be great. You know, mm-hmm. I'm done now. I'm, you know, it's retirement time. I've done this 30 years. Yeah. And what's happening is, is uh, no, uh, and they're just saying no. You are, you are going, you are going to be totally healthy, one hundred percent. You are going to be light coming through you. You're a channel, and you need to do this. This is now. You're, no, you're not going off the planet. You're. You're getting more present than ever before <laughs> because this is. I know, and I went oh. No, we're really? tired, really. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not tired. That's the thing. Mm. I my I have brain damage. I have brain damage my whole life from in utero. So technology, I would look at a screen, a computer screen, and I couldn't make anything out of it. It took me a year to be able to figure that out. I could only see three letters at a time ever. And then everything would start moving on a page. So for me to have gotten a degree, for me to do it, what I have gone through because my brain didn't work. Well, now since these frequencies 
I, I put together a whole website. I figured out how to operate this system. I put together the protocols for it all on the computer. <laughs> you know, and also, you know, because you are super psychic and in tune and everything like that. And I remember when I did your reading and I and there was something you asked me about. And I said, I think you're too close to a 5G tower or turn off your wire. Or there was something about. Yeah. And you were like, I don't think so. And then later you texted me and you were like, yeah, but I <laughs> fully believe that you would have to be Wi-Fi sen- or 5G sensitized or 6G. You know what I mean? Does that yeah, feel that? I, this clears it away. This clears it away. Wow. That's my experience. But, uh, you know, I, yeah, it's, it's, I'm different. I'm just not the same. I don't even look the same. Wow. I mean, I was haggard because I was, I was at, I was experiencing what you're describing. Like, oh my God. Okay. I just, okay. I got through three clients. That's all I can do. I mean, I really have to work towards retiring because this is just too, I, I, I need to, to rest. I need to be able to assimilate everything that's happening because it's so much in our diet, in the sound, in the, all of the, you know, everything that's going on in the planet. And I'm now that I've, again, with the solar flares and things like that, I, I definitely get rocked, but I, I recover so quickly. Yeah. It's like, Oh, I'm back. I can't believe there would be a one be all fix all. I, I like you, like yeah. you said, like something has to, and everything is changing so fast. You know, I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if you ended up uh, getting more codes or your own codes or your own programs that were supposed to run with this. Like you said, you just got that notification that you're supposed to be doing this live. Right. And I, <laughs> It's, it, everything is but you know, so all fast. along they've been, all along they they've been saying, you know, you are the technology. Mm, yes, you're the technology. You're going to be running the, these things. That now is that makes so much sense to me that you are no. going to be the tri machine yourself. That is what's happening. So wow. Your your the lady that you learned it from, uh, I you know like I, I probably her too. But I think that's everything. You know, in a weird way, I keep seeing like the negative part that reinforces exactly what you're doing. But mm. the way our phones do see us now, you know, I bought this is so funny. I bought yeah. they have you get these satin. They want you to buy these satin caps that are for your hair at night, right? And I never even clicked on the ad. I never did it, and I ended up with one, not from my phone. And one day I was sitting there watching my phone with my little satin cap on. It's amazing what I look like at night with my mouth guard and my satin cap and my stickers <laughs> on my face. I'm like one fraternity party away from it's like I woke up at a party to me right and, oh my god um but the phone was like it was like it saw I had the cap on and it sent me an ad for it and I was like that uh, we are becoming our phones we have to be careful of that in a bad way but in a good way you are becoming this program mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the good way. That's where, we, yeah. that I think is the ultimate ascension test that is coming. Are you well, going to here, yes, Karen, Karen, and here is the thing. Here's the thing. So if you, the, you, you, if you can shift your uh, consciousness, your awareness, then that stuff doesn't come through. It doesn't. You're you're creating. Here it is. Is talk about AI. You are AI. You create your reality. So it, what are you going to create? So if you're focused on all the negative, then what are you what are you helping create? Because energy manifesting follows energy, follows your attention. It follows your so so the more and this is our job as human beings to turn this thing around. Yes, and this I, is it. This is the evolutionary step. Okay. I should thank the satin cap 
for showing me the way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? You're, but you know, I do feel like there's also an automatic turn off. Like I used to really enjoy uh, scary movies, but now they're on about two seconds and I go, oh no, the house doesn't feel yeah. right. That I'm not, I can't, I can't do yeah. this anymore, you know? So, I know. Yeah. A good, a good detective thriller and you know, all of that. I, I, it's like, I, I got it. I have to turn it off. Yeah. But, there's oh very no, I can't do it. Now. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's getting, there's not a lot to, that we're able to watch because that. Well, and isn't, is yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And isn't that interesting? So then what do we do? Yes. And, yes. you know, people find you. Or they find, you know, there's a lot on there that is awesome. So it's just a, a question of finding what resonates. And, of course, there's going to be somebody, something, so that's going to want to usurp it and use it. You know, like, like I understand what you're, what you're talking about. And if, if we have a stronger energy force around what we want, not what we don't want, but how do we want it to be? Because we are so much help coming in right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have never had the level of assistance that we have now. Yeah. Sometimes that's easy to forget with all the. It is. I there. know. Now, do you- it is. And you're out there in the world traveling, you know, doing yeah. all that. So you're up close and personal. With a lot of that, Karen. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what's funny? A long time ago, a friend came over and did, and she was like, your energy, everything bounces off. And I think that was literally, not when I'm doing readings, but when I travel, when you're an avid traveler, you start to build a shield. And, yes. and <laughs> I think it still helps. But, you know, do you feel like uh, uh, there is, you, you can feel the people that are ascending and trying to do better and getting out of their victimhood. That's the big one. That was even the it's huge. Yeah, I, yes. Uh, Utica really was about because I didn't really have a choice to come out here and take care of my parents. Well, I guess I did, but mm-hmm. I didn't. You know, you're going to take mm-hmm. care of your parents. So I have uh, I have stepped out of the victimhood into the choice. But mm. there are you see those people that are white knuckling and holding on oh, to yeah. the world. And is there any th- way we can just help them, or we have to wait till they make that decision? Well, I think just uh, just just being it, embodying it, you you know, and you go to a restaurant and you have a wait person come and serve you, and they walk away th- feeling better. You think that's a small potato? It's not a small potato because it becomes more and more, and it and the the percentage of what it takes to change this world is much, much, much less than even fifty percent. We don't need fifty percent to change it. We need something like you know, fifteen, twenty percent. Wow! And there, there are movements everywhere, all over this planet that don't get airtime. There is so much good happening. Good, I saw, uh, you know, like with the ocean, there is a, a company that has pulled 20 million pounds of crap out of the ocean mm. in one year. Mm. Okay. They are dauntless. They and 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 they're going for it. That's happening all over with the with the farmers, with the you know healthcare workers, and everybody turning and turning turning away from the the uh, you know the old way. We'll say the it's old nice. way. Mm-hmm. Yes, the because that want to that want I, I do think there is a fair amount that want to corrupt our food and corrupt stuff like that. And this is kind of how we win, isn't it? They can poison yes. our food and turn up the five G, but if we hire our frequency, we can get out from under them. Yes, it just happens, and and it's it's much easier to do that than suffer in the anguish. And get twisted and and all of that in the pro in the process. So 
Yeah, it's really, really, really where are you putting your attention? You know, attention I, is power. Yeah, I don't know if this is because there are more people videotaping, but the kind of videos that I that I'm seeing that I love are there was a video of a shark, a shark trying to get these divers' attention. And it was so, I've never seen a shark act like that. And then the shark drew the divers to a whale that had a sperm whale. I had, saw that. Right, his mouth was all tied up. And yeah. they. I have chills. Like, when did sharks become the good guys? That <laughs> You know what I mean? Or Well, yeah. And that's the kind of thing with, with, uh, with you know the web is that there is all of this amazing stuff happening with with babies and animals and all this beautiful you know cross you know uh, uh pollinating of of love and sharing you know hunters going out and seeing the very deer that they're going to kill caught in a fence and dropping their guns and going Oh, we have to get this poor right. deer loose. And yeah. oh, there we got it loose. Oh, good. Look at your money. It's running now. You know? Yeah. It's, it's all, so all of that is going. And there may be behind that, they're thinking, how can we put advertising? How can we do this? How can we slide in to control you? It just keeps, dumbs you down. But there's a lot of beautiful stuff out there. Yeah, there is. And there's and and I do think, you know, uh, I mean, I do believe all the bad stuff that they're editing and blah, blah, blah. But the good stuff is I do think movements are being born through the Internet. To you. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's I agree. Wonderful. All right. So, so we're <laughs> on our way. So tell everyone where to find you, what services you're offering now, and uh, anything like okay. that. Okay. Okay. So the services that I'm offering now, oh, my guys are going. And in the near future, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be, so, so it, it's just at, at Nancy Giuliani. N-A-N-C-Y-G-I-U-L-I-A-N-I dot com. And that's where the frequencies are. And I'm not doing any uh, individual sessions. Like I wouldn't put that out right now, Mm -hmm. but I think that it's going to come soon because of this talk we just in right this Mm -hmm. minute that I will do energy like uh, uh you know uh zooms or however i don't know karen yeah you, i don't know how all that would happen but i will i will send Even my over. energy out and and uh and i'll i'll it, you'll be able, you'll you'll find it by this site i'll put it on this site that's and, that's what uh, you can and do also do you have an email list i have a uh, it be uh, the email would go. There's an email on Nancy Giuliani. Okay, great. And and uh, I'll talk- yes. Well, so it's Nancy Giuliani at gmail dot com. Okay, and and we'll figure out a way um, because this is coming out in August. Or this is we're taping no. this in August. It's coming out in like November or December. So we'll I'll tip you off. You have plenty of time to either look, figure out how to save the emails that they send you or get a list because that's Wonderful. what you want. So that when you cross into this, everybody can just tune in yes. to get the email. So yeah, look, at yes. you taking over the internet <laughs> with an email list, Nancy. <laughs> I don't even know. I can't even believe what's coming out of my mouth here right now. Oh, I'll be there. Just <laughs> That's why I love it. I love yeah. It. Thank you so much for uh, having me, Karen. Podcast, Nancy, but ever, first ever. I know I've never done anything things. like this. Oh, oh, you're so interesting. So and spot. On. Oh. Oh, well, I just, I've always enjoyed you. And I don't know, folks, if you haven't had a reading by Karen, <laughs> every, like I'm saying, I like this is what she, she has, she has just done this over and over with me saying, nope, you're already there. Yeah. Nope, you're already there. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yoo hoo. <laughs> so well, this was I just wonderful. Yes, I but I think thank I, you, I, Karen. I read for a lot of my people, but now we got to turn them to your way and send a, an email at www.nancygiuliani.com. It will be in the show notes. And uh, thank the, you. I have my email on my site there. If you yeah. go to the site, there's an email and it pops up there. It pops up. Do you want to, uh, you up. know, sign up? So yeah. it'll pop right up and then you can give me your email right there. Wonderful. It's on the site. It does that on the site. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, much love to everyone. And Karen, thank you so much. Yes. You're, I, you're I, I, I had a great time. Yeah. Well, you're, you're a lovely. I knew you'd be great at this because you're oh, lovely and interesting and everything. So uh, thank um, you for coming on. All right, Karen. All right. And everybody, Take care. Um, I will see you at, uh, you can sign up at KarenRontowski.com. If you're listening and you're getting an Instagram message or a TikTok, nope, those are fake accounts. You can contact me through my website anytime. Uh, but that is it. Uh, my TikTok went like 100,000 and then all the fake accounts started. But you got me here. Thank mm. you so much for listening and uh, have a great day. Thanks to Mike at Uno Rising Media. Paranormal Karen, she's a spooky kind of queen. Paranormal Karen.